So here we are again at the beautiful Purple Valley Yoga Center. My name is uh, Carolina and I am here with Yelena. And uh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, we did a small video together with David Fredriksson that was here with La Ruga, where I kind of started to work towards those jump throughs and jump backs in a more committed way. Yay. So now I wanted to have uh, <laughs> Yelena's opinion on how I can work towards improvement of the jump backs and jump throughs. So I'm going to demonstrate what I'm yes, doing. Let's okay? see. Hmm? <clears throat> So one thing that I also want to mention is that I have this mat, this cotton mat, because it allows me to basically slide through much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little cheat thing. It's a little cheat, promoting yeah, exactly. cheating. Yeah. 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 For a while I was also doing it with socks. Oh, were you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That's really good. Why do you want my help? I want to know <laughs> if there's anything I should work on to improve it. I think it's really good. It's like uh, you're jumping through and jumping back. Was it like a proper jump back? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do it again so you yes, can check it. Yes, let's do it again. Yeah. Make sure it's not a fluke. It's really good. I'm not sure how to... <laughs> <laughs> now I was thinking because if there are any lifts or something, uh, more of Lol Asana? Well, it's m m vinyasas are usually inhale, pick up, exhale, jump back. Yeah. So you don't have much time. Um, as you build strength, if you can, on an exhale, lift higher and shoot back, sure. But in my opinion, it's like you got to conserve your energy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much of the other stuff yeah. that's coming. So usually what starts to happen when we start learning jump through and jump backs are jump throughs are the ones that progress faster. Yes. Because we have the strength of our legs to let us come through. And that's where you start to learn that control. So in jump throughs, the only thing that could get better, though you're jumping through perfectly fine and you can start playing where you slow it down and you kind of try to control the movement a mm -hmm. little bit more. But again, I only say you do that if you can do it within the vinyasa count, which is for the jump throughs, it's often inhale, jump through. Yeah. And then for the jump backs, um, I found it very useful if the hands, I've, we've talked about it before, if we set up the hands and they're a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. And it gives us a little bit more strength to push and resist against the floor and find that round back. So I don't think there's anything for you really to, to, to change. So when you bring your legs in, and you were doing this, Carolina, you want your knees to come as close to your chest you can't try to lift here and walk back because there's your legs are away and you can't create the round shape. Yeah. So you were doing this. You want your knees close in, you're pulling your belly in, and then your tailbone's a little bit tucking under. And so my hands come in front and then you can notice that my fingers are pointing out. And so here, when I lift, I'm lifting into that round shape. I'm not lifting here. I'm lifting here to find space. So that's all there is, but you were doing mm -hmm. that. And so here, 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 I and see. back. So that's this thing, you are lifting up quite high. That only comes with time. So it's yeah. only a strength thing. But at first, if you try to do it this way and you try to slow it down, you're gonna get stuck mm -hmm. and you're gonna end up touching the foot on the floor. Yeah. So in the beginning, it's exactly, once you start getting, this jump through it's exactly the way you do it you have to think about going really fast the faster you can shoot the legs back and sooner you can let your chin and chest drop forward that creates that clearance okay. if you focus on finding this lift and then slow tilt you're gonna lose it okay it's just too much work till you get the more strength in so I only did it this way now to show the shape of the upper body but it's not how I would do it in my practice, in my practice, I would do it the way you do it. Inhale, lift up, exhale, 
shoot back. So yeah, and then coming through from here, again, I do this whole thing, shift the weight forward, make sure that your hands are nice and wide. And if you want, you can turn them out a little bit. See how wide my hands are. They're actually, here's the mat. <laughs> They're coming off the mat. So they're there. So I pull the lower belly in. So you find this empty feeling down here and you're not coming into this position. It's the other way around. I come on my tippy toes and I shift the weight forward so that some of the weight already comes into my hands. So I'm ready. And here, just make sure that you're not collapsing between your shoulders. You're doing that resisting thing. So you're pushing the floor away and then lift your chin up. You gotta look where you're going. So you're looking ahead. And then as I come back down, I bend my knees and as I jump, I tuck them in as I let myself come through. Okay, and also very close to the chest. Yes. Okay. Bringing your knees close to your chest really starts to develop your core, your bandhas, and it's, it's hard. Yeah. And so, again, you're gonna get this jump through sooner then you get your jump back. But it's if you can kind of tune into what your body is doing, so it's this shape. This is where we want to jump through and jump back. Be as round mm. as possible and create this space. So then there's so much space for our legs to yeah. come through. So here I can really feel that my hip flexors are yes. working. Yeah, everything's working. And then if it's too much in the hip flexors, if you can focus on finding so if you can hug your legs and you release the hip flexors, and then now try to find your bandhas. So pull through your lower belly and imagine you're holding your pee. So you keep lifting that way. And you'll notice that your tailbone comes under a little bit. Yeah. And then as you extend your arms, it's not so much work in the hip flexors now as much. Some of it is down here. So the work is being redistributed more evenly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I find that that's really useful or important. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I think it was really good. Jump through and jump back. Thank you. 13 Very years. Nice. 13 years. All it took, 13 <laughs> years. <laughs> so now I'm going to refine it till next year when you come. Yes. So do you have any uh, tips for a person who is just starting to do the jump backs and jump throughs? Just working on yeah? them. Yeah, they're hard, but they're really important to do because first, the tradition says that we're supposed to do them. Second, they build strength and they build heat. And when we practice, this is why we do vinyasa, to keep building the heat in the body. So you're going to find that you're going to start working on them. And the first few, let's say, once you get, you know, from Dandasana and Paschimottanasana, the first few, you'll be able to do whatever is the most advanced version of them. And then you're going to start to get tired and you're gonna have to back off and do the lazier version. And that's okay. That's just building strength. The muscles are getting tired. But you have to have a conversation with yourself where you say, okay, from this pose to this pose, I'm gonna do my best version. It doesn't matter what it is, whether your foot touches the floor and whether you intend to do one thing, but then you, you know, just end up doing a belly flop. You keep pushing yourself and then the next set of sequence poses you say okay now I'm gonna do the easy version so that I'm still going with the vinyasa I'm still moving but I, I'm giving myself like a little bit of a, of a break mm -hmm. this is how you begin to build strength so most often at first we're all doing sort of unless there's some knee problems where you gotta you gotta swing all mm -hmm. the way around and then you come back here Again, when you're in doing your chaturanga, use chaturangas as an opportunity to build strength. So as you're lowering down, make sure that your elbows stay over the wrist and your chin and chest is coming forward. Don't go here. You want your palms flat on the floor. And when you're jumping through, if you're stepping through, sometimes this is what we have to do. And that's okay. Notice again, I'm not letting my bum and my upper body just drop down. I'm resisting through my arms and then with control coming down to set up and do whatever it is. And then for jumping back to you bring your legs in, cross them and I tuck my feet so they go onto the side. And so this might be 
one of the versions that you do, you come here and you find this position. So you're using the strength of your legs, but really it's your arms that are doing a lot of work. And from here you can jump up and back and then slowly lower to chaturanga. And then the same thing coming through. When you jump, don't sit down, stay up. So you jump, cross the legs, stay here just for like a really quick second and then slowly come down so that everything becomes controlled movement, mm. not kind of like a fluke of jumping through and jumping back. If mm. you want to make it a little bit harder, instead of bringing your hands in front, now you bring them behind your feet. And here you start to lift and then you walk your feet back to here. So now we're back to that same position. And then from here, using the strength of my legs and by rounding my upper back, I jump up and back and then slowly lower down to chaturanga. And then the same thing coming through, I'm gonna jump but not sit down. So I jump, cross the leg, and then here, this is so much work. You walk your feet through and then sit down. And I'm sweating just doing that. Doing these versions, especially the second one I showed, is so much harder than just being able to pick up and jump back. Yep. But if you're a beginner, one of these two is where you should be working. And so do the easy one, and then when you have strength, you do the next one, and then you lose a little bit of strength as the practice goes on, then you go back to the easy one, but you always have something to come back to, and you're always finding this shape. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so keep on practicing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yelena. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>